I picked up this board at Walmart in the craft section um, and I'm going to paint it with Wise Owl Goldenrod. I'm not really worried about full coverage. I do believe I did two coats and then I sanded well just so I had a nice smooth surface to deal with. And I'm going to start adding some painter's tape as I want to create some stripes. So I do that by laying my painter's tape down. I do a piece of a painter's tape as my spacer and I went all the way across. I'm going to show you a blending technique and I'm going to mix Republic Red with some Snow Owl and get myself this pink tone. But I'm start with adding the goldenrod one more time. And while it's wet, I'm going to mi mix in my uh, snow owl at the bottom. And then my republic red and the pink at the top. The republic red and the white, which creates a pink at the top. And you can go down as far as you want. And I don't have a plan as to where I'm going to end or start. And it just leaves these really cool stripes, almost like a ghost stripe at the bottom. And it fades into the color. And this is just a fun technique I wanted to show you. And it's going to look really nice with my end project. And I'm going to allow this to dry. Once dry, I'm going to apply one hour enamel clear. And allow that to dry. I found this hello sign at Target. It was three dollars and I got my miter box out and I sawed off the stand at the bottom. It did take me a little time but I did eventually get it off. Then I just took a sander and cleaned up the bottom and then repainted the white area. Then I took some black and painted the actual letters, just skimming my paint across the top portion of the letters, and now it's black and white. Today we're going to be using Flamingo Pink. It's a new transfer by Redesign by Prima, and it comes in the three panels, and it has different sizes and uh, positions of the flamingos and some ferns or palm leaves. I'm going to cut out my pieces with a pair of scissors and make a plan. I'm going to place a flamingo to the left and then a flamingo to the right. You want to make sure you burnish after you apply your transfers as this is going to make sure that my um, image has fully adhered to my board. I glued the sign with some Elmer's glue and a little bit of hot glue for that instant hold. And then I just started placing my uh, palm leaves around the bottom and then randomly at the top. And I had plenty of image left over for another project. And then once this completely dried, I did add another coat of the one hour enamel clear over top of my transfers. I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chocolateoffancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfer, or mesh stencils, talk chocolateoffancy.com.